Welcome back to AM Live, and I'm here. I went from Pat Crew to TSPN Crew. How do you like that? I like it well, a lot. That bridge right over there. We're here with Mr. Austin Gatano this morning, and we're going to be talking about um, Austin graduated last year. Yes, I did. And now you're in college. Yep. And you are studying film. Uh, right now, actually, I'm studying communications. Communications, but you'd like to get into this field someday. Yeah, I'd like to be able to get into this field. Um, but I know that going with a more broad spectrum major is a little bit smarter than going with just a centralized, you know, specific major. Right. right. So how how was the crossover? What is the difference? I mean, now you're you're responsible for yourself in that respect. Yeah. You don't have to go to school if you don't want to, but yeah. <laughs> now you got to push, push, push yourself. Well, now I pay for it. There, there you go. But um, no, when the transition from high school to college, it's. It's different going from being in a small community where everybody knows everybody. You walk down the halls of the school and you know almost everybody that you pass. You know, there's going to be gaps that are going to be missing because, you know, senior to freshman, you're sure. not going to know all of them. Sure. But you, there's familiar faces. You're seeing them and you like, I liked it at least. I have buddies that can't stand going back to the school. They're just like, I can't, I don't like going back here. It's like, really? Yeah, they love college. I like college. I don't love it yet, but... I like it. I, it's freeing. It's, it's so much easier only having to go two days a week. Right. Um, but it's jam-packed. It's like eight, nine hours a day, it, right? Well, for me, it's, um, I have to go down at, it's Tuesdays and Thursdays for me, and I go down at nine in the morning for my first class, and that's physical science. That goes till, I think, like 11.40. So, and that's supposed to be, that's a lecture lab combo. Um, and then I have a break for lunch. Uh, about an hour long, and then I get to go to my political science class, which only goes till 2.20. Starts at 1, goes till 2.20. Now, let me ask you this. With with people watching right now and and um, that are getting ready to graduate and, and going to make the leap into college, what is the easiest, what is the easiest issue that you had, the easiest, and what is the hardest? Um, definitely... Picking the school was difficult for me. Uh, I, I mean, I chose to go with the uh, the community college first, just because mm -hmm. it's it's a money saver. I mean, mm -hmm. the way my parents are financially, I get all of the government aid. So, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, my classes have been almost free. My, I still have to pay all my books and whatever else I'm sure. doing down there. But and they're pretty expensive. They, oh man, yeah, they get expensive, but it's not the five hundred, six hundred dollars for all of my classes. Per semester that my friends sure. have to pay but picking the school uh, out of the, all the community colleges that I was around I went I chose Kasunas River out of the gate because it had the film major position mm -hmm. I can it's a good school it it's a nice school it's more the environment that wasn't right for me uh -huh. um, being in a small community and then going to South Sacramento which I mean I don't want to say anything neg negative about it, but it was just not the it's right... A, it's a different leap. Yeah, it's a, it's just not the right uh, kind of environment for me. I didn't right. feel a warmth or a welcomeness yeah. from anybody. I, I, know, I know what you mean, because when um, I was working... Matter of fact, I was working in San Francisco, and my daughter and I went to college. Hmm. And, we, and she was working, I was working, we went to college at night. We took a lot of classes together at night. Yeah. But then I had taken classes before. My only, my only, uh, how should I say, my only failure was is I didn't complete my degree, which I'm sorry I didn't. Well, go so, back and finish it. Yeah, well, I don't know. I know at this age, I don't know. But um, I really think it's important that if you make that commitment, that you see it through, no matter hell or high water, you need to see it through. No, because absolutely. education is, you think you know it all and you don't, and you take one class, and if you learn just one or two things per that class, yeah, it's like, wow, I didn't know that. And you, you feel much better about yourself. Absolutely. And and uh, let's face it, today we can't get anywhere unless we have, you know, unless yeah, we have Yeah, you have to have that piece of paper saying, hey, diploma, you graduated. There you go, you got there you go. And I think that that's a, uh, I think it's really very, very important you know, to do that. Some people, some people would, you know, argue that issue, but I think that you and I both know the, the value and the importance of it. Oh, completely. So 
in the future, because of the commu the communication, uh, going into communications is great. Because like you said, you, there's vast avenues. I mean, there's oh, avenues absolutely. that you I can, can take. take. That, I can take that degree and go with business. In fact, I wanted I want to go with a business uh, minor. Right. Uh, when I get to UNR, if I can if I can get there, yeah. For that, uh, but no, it's. I can take it to business, I can take it to advertising, marketing, sales, all of it. And then I can also bring it here and it's it works more with people, how they're going to behave, how mm -hmm. the right wording can make them think a certain way, um, get an idea across and that's, I enjoy that. I, right. I, I like psychology, I'm not a fan of the classes, I get bored in them, but... That was basically my major, I loved yeah. it. I loved but it. utilizing it psychology... I enjoy. I like to pick people apart a little bit. Sometimes they go a little far. But now, did you take your Did you take your uh, uh, public speaking class? Uh, I have that one. It doesn't start until the second half of the semester. Oh, okay. Uh, and that's going to be. It's an eight week course. Uh, it's about a three hour long class every Tuesday and Thursday. Cool. So. I'll be down there uh, from 9 in the morning till 9 at night, starting yeah. the second half. It's going to be fun. I think it's very important for anybody that, that leaps into the college that, you know, and, mm -hmm. and decides to pursue something. One of the most important classes is to take is public speaking. I know that's what is that's on snakes, it's, spiders, and public speaking are supposed to be the biggest three fears that people have. But it's speaking, so important. I, I see now, uh, if any of my teachers watch this, and. <laughs> Kudos, you, you got it through to me. Uh, public speaking is absolutely a needed uh, yes. skill. Uh, going in, talking to uh, business owners, managers, sure. uh, trying to get another job, public speaking helps. And what you learn about public speaking is that the most important part of communication is listening to what the other person has to say. Absolutely, listening to what they have to say, taking it in and processing, okay, this is what they're coming with to me with. Mm -hmm. What can I bring back to the table? What what can I contribute to this conversation or this idea in general? Right. Uh, it's it's absolutely a needed skill. I think that if you're going to be in college, public speaking is something you should take. It'll help you tremendously in the future. Sure, because when you think about it, no matter what avenue you take as a career, you have to converse with other people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's great to text, it's great to uh, email, it's all Tech. that. But people people cannot see your expression or hear uh, your expression unless they unless they make that human contact. Yeah, that gets people in trouble nowadays. Yeah, you it does. You can't understand, <laughs> so you're texting somebody, you say one thing. Right. And in your mind, how do you you're, mean that? Yeah, this yeah. is how I'm feeling, This, but they're getting a whole other thing. Right. You're, you might be just, you know, laying on your bed bored texting somebody, and they're... Whatever you say, they're getting like, right. oh, they're mad at me. What did I do? Why are right. you being so right. rude? And I was like, I'm not being rude. I'm not trying you to be can, rude. But you can hear, you can hear, you can hear the emotions in people's voice, and yeah. I think that's 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 another part of the communication. Well, you can hear their emotion in their voice. You can read their body language. You can read their facial expressions, seeing how, hey, this person is kind of making a grimace. Yeah. You know, maybe I should, you know, back off a little bit. Whatever it might be. Now, Tommy, what are you laughing at? Tommy's Tommy's communicating with me with hand signals. Oh. So let me Behave ask. <laughs> so let me let me ask you this, um, Austin. Uh, this is a two-year, three-year program. Uh, it can be as long as I want it to be. I'd, I'd prefer to make it shorter. That way, I can get up to Nevada. Do you think it would be important that after you do to your public speaking and you and you you get your feet comfortable in what you're doing, that you go back? And you address like seniors or in your community, uh, the school that you came from, and told them what to expect out there. And I think a lot of people are kind of afraid because, you know, you're tra you're you're going away. It's not like, hey, I'm mom, I'm going three blocks to school or whatever. Yeah, no, you I'm... have to go, and some of them are going to go away, and you know, oh, yeah. out of state or whatever. Yeah, a lot of a lot of my friends did that. And I think a lot of it is culture shock. I think that there's going to be I completely agree with you. Yeah. Culture shock hit so hard when I went to Kasunas. Uh, I decided that wasn't necessarily the school for me, and I changed my major to communications from film, so that made it a little bit nicer. I could mm -hmm. go to, I mean, I, I chose Folsom mm -hmm. after that because I knew Folsom had the communications mm -hmm. degree. They're both good schools. Great schools. Uh, <clears throat> but the thing that I liked about Folsom is I knew that I had people from here going there, right. and I could see familiar <clears throat> faces, and I knew the environment would be right. more 
comfortable for me. It wouldn't be as sure. much of a bam. Here you go. This is right. And yeah, because when you're when you're out of your surroundings, like somebody moving into a town, you know the ca the county mm -hmm. or or a new town, and you don't know anybody there, and you don't know how you should interact with that person, and you know you kind of kick back and wait for that person to make the initial overture. Exactly. And um, so I think I think it would be kind of cool to have you like go and talk. My English teacher actually wanted me to come back and talk because at the time I was still uh, deciding to be film major. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of my classes was a video editing class, so I had made a couple projects and she said that at some point she wanted me to be able to come in and present uh, one or two of them to the class and just talk to them about mm -hmm. it and you know what goes into it. And I, I haven't gotten back to it yet. I haven't uh, visited the school. I would go back. Long. I would tell her that you want to do, you would like to do something on, on communication and prepare them and let them know that these these challenges are going to be out there. And I think that it's, it would be nice. I mean, you, you know, I think every kid would like to have something like that. Yeah. Honestly, if I, thinking back on it now, I dreaded public speaking when we, when we had to do the presentations in high school, sure. whether it was English, you know, whatever class it was. I didn't like them. I didn't feel comfortable. But looking back on it, hindsight, it's 2020, I think it would have been it's, better for my teachers to force essential. more of it. It's essential. It's essential. I think it, they should do a lot of it. No, you just leave me alone now. <laughs> Are we just going to run this into the room? <laughs> we have to. Yeah, there you oh, go. We got a break. <laughs> oh, oh, well. We're going to go to a short break and we'll be right back.